Hey, Ryan Scher here with PCDJ. Uh, I threw this video together to show and demonstrate how to use the BPM scan function uh, in DEX2 or Red Mobile. I've got DEX2 in front of me, although the same video applies and you would do the exact same thing in our PCDJ Red Mobile 2 software in order to uh, extract the BPM. Um, it's really easy. Uh, simply select your database or one of your playlists for that matter select a song you can select and do one song at a time you simply right click on the song highlight the song right click on the song and analyze I'll just do this one track real quick it's relatively uh, quick speedy You can see it's, uh, it'll actually tell you right here it's analyzing and that will disappear so you have a little uh, progress information that shows you what song it's currently BPM scanning. So here you go, there you go, 126 BPM, it'll actually extract the time information at that point as well. Uh, same thing happens when you play the file but you can pre-scan everything through your library uh, before ever playing a song if you wish. Uh, you can also select multiple so multiple songs to analyze. Uh, you can do that by selecting uh, or clicking on one track, holding down control, and you can click uh, various tracks you want to scan. Or you can select a whole track range. Um, so if you wanted to do your entire database, for instance, you simply select the top track in your list, you know, click it with your mouse, left click, hold down your shift key on your keyboard, and select the last track you want to scan. So essentially you can do that for your entire list. Uh, you know, select the very top track in your list, go to the very bottom, hold down shift, click the bottom track, it'll highlight everything in between, right click, and analyze. Uh, or you don't actually have to uh, do a whole track range. If you wanna do a whole group, you simply right click in that group and say analyze all. Uh, so you don't really have to do the entire list or select the entire list. You can just right click, analyze all, or select the track range you wish to analyze. So I'm just gonna analyze a couple songs. Go up here, analyze. And again, it's gonna give you your notification here that it's analyzing and what current song it's, it's analyzing. So let's get one of these other tracks. So I wanna show you real quick uh, you know, once it extracts your BPM, uh, you can use uh, the sync functions and all the other features of DEX2 or Red Mobile 2. Uh, you know, loops, um, effects, they're all quantized based on BPM. So that BPM readout uh, will tell the speed of which the effect is applied. So it's in sync with the, you know, the beat. And uh, the same thing uh, can be said for the, the sync, of course, which works based on the BPM and the beat grid that's also uh, extracted. So during this process, as it finds the BPM, it's also finding that beat grid. Uh, so let's take one of these tracks, load it up. And as you'll, you'll notice as well, that once you scan your, your files in your list beforehand, files will load much faster to uh, uh, any of the players. Let's hit that track. This track. Now you have sync start, uh, which you only want to do if you know the song starts with a nice solid beat. Uh, so you can just hit sync and it will actually start. We can try it right now. As you can see, that did a pretty good job. So literally just hit sync uh, and it will start the track on beat. Or you can be into the track, we'll just start right there, hit sync. Same thing applies. So as you can see, it's really easy. I mean, once you have your BPM, the sync in our software works really, really well. Uh, you know, it's better for 4-4 stuff. It works good, though, on, on a lot of breakbeat and uh, drum and bass as well. Uh, it actually does a really good job of finding the correct BPM on on a lot of music that other BPM extraction uh, methods do not.